it's been a minute i know i've been busy i've been busy i yo where do i start like since i was last year or since you last saw me i have been to croatia i have performed there i've been to london i've been to kenya yeah! <laughs> so i've been all over the place performing making music writing collaborating there's a lot that's been happening and i've also released i've had like four is it four i think it's four like i released a song with munga k that i co-wrote um and that was lovely that was a great experience called ritual for his album and it's a beautiful track he sings it it's all him but like i was part of the pen game in that one and then i released a song with um t williams called peace and that's about protecting your peace which i'll talk about later then i think i released a song with julian gomes called let me go which is also about losing people in order to protect yourself and to save yourself and to protect your peace then i released a two-track ep with atmos black called land of the dreamers with two intensely beautiful aggressive angry viral um afro b afro tech ugh, tracks and then i also did a beautiful song a love song the first one i've ever written to myself with china chameleon last week called little me and it's a song to my little self about where we are in life so in today's episode of the lyrical breakdown because i haven't done it in a while i'm so sorry <laughs> i also ran out of space i needed to be clever about how to to do the spacing thing so this one might be short because space um in today's episode of the lyrical breakdown i'm going to be talking about the song called heartburn soy brand so this is the backstory you can see it summer that's how long ago i haven't done this because <laughs> my back is open okay so heartburn soy brand comes from the time when there was i don't know if you remember this guy that was interested in me at the time and he was sort of He's very beautiful. We had a really great relationship. But as soon as we broached anything to do with us outside of a friendship, he'd flick, he'd run, he'd just disappear. So I thought to myself, like, how would I articulate that in song? You know what I mean? And um, I wrote this and it goes like this. I need to find it. Thanks. 
that was Hard Bun Soy Brat. <laughs> and this is the lyrical breakdown of Hard Bun Soy Brat, produced by me and Dave Martian. Because, see, I remember we did it together. Yeah. So, Hard Bun from another one who left, hesitating, afraid of what he felt speaks about just like you know when you come across someone and you just your heart is burnt as a human being in yourself and my heart is also burnt and your heart is burnt so we just like Ooh, mm -mm, i don't want to go through that again so you're afraid of what you're feeling you're afraid of what you've been through you're afraid of potentially of potentially doing or going through that again so you're hesitant then i say much time you've been pondering on things time traveling to things preceding you and me so we're both overthinkers, I think, him and I, as human beings, and a lot of us are overthinkers, but we'll try not to include him in the story, although he inspired it. But essentially, how you tend to overthink because you've been been through so much or you've been hurt badly that you're cautious um, and that you think about what's happened to you instead of what is happening to you and what you want to happen. You're so worried about the past instead of being present and looking forward to the future then i say scales tipping heart way in too long i've been giving too much energy so that's literally if you can picture like the libra scales where like you put something on the one end and the other side shoots up is how yeah so that's sort of the image i have with scales tipping so when i put my heart on the scale he just flew up because i didn't feel like there was any sort of uh commitment or concerted effort on his part to pursue anything with me and i was right he's either <laughs> and then i say it's heartbreaking that you're flaking and i feel like another fool so regardless of all of my insecurities my fears my worries i was still like okay sharp i'm going in and he was just like mm -mm. Mm. Uh -uh. then the chorus goes unlock the door to your heart i'll be on the other side to catch your fall and that speaks to how or the or the image of falling in love people say you fall in love and sometimes it really does feel like you jump you just like you tripped off the cliff and you're gone um but with the surety that somebody's gonna catch you on the other side even if you've been through a lot I'm not budging. I jump. I got you. I'm gonna catch you, but you didn't believe that. So that speaks to that. Um, and also just trusting love. Just trusting love. Opening your heart up, which not everyone can do. <laughs> then I say, when it's dark, you don't have to face the night alone. So that speaks to me saying, regardless of what you're going through, I'm that person you can come to, come to that's the word come to when you're going through difficult times when you feel ugly when you don't love yourself when you don't feel beautiful when you don't feel lovable i got you i would love to date me sometimes yes you know just sometimes i think about myself and i'll be like yeah i mean i think I'd, I'd be great with me but who knows i'm probably terrible <laughs> Mm. verse 2 then goes love lost in pursuit of holograms the cost of the purchase that i have so that speaks to me one projecting ideas or even projecting that person's initial impression the initial impression he gave me of himself onto who he showed me he really was because they weren't the same people and a lot of us do that we project first what we want you to think of us we put our best foot forward. We're always the nicest, coolest, whatever it is in the room. And then we do that until sometime where you just start to relax and you, 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 you take off the mask, you take off the performance and you're your real self and you lose out um, on that first impression. And some people catch that on quickly and they're like, <laughs> peace. I'm just like, no, man. Let me give you the benefit of the doubt. This isn't really you. You're more like that version of yourself you first showed me. Hey, I've become the other version. The, the, the former. I'm not. Yeah, no. I'm no more the latter. I'm the former. I bite 
but i'm just like oh this is who you really are get away pull you and i flee um secondly we tend to project the loves we want from people the idealized versions of the fairy tales hollywood and disney have taught us that never works well in my experience it hasn't so if it has worked for you the comment section is open please give notes and that also has cost me so much just so by the way i didn't get to that part the cost of the the cost of the purchase that i have so i bought into the initial impression he gave me with that line and then it cost me a lot when i realized that those those two people were not the same and that's fine you're very welcome to and you're supposed to evolve in my case it was a devolution de-evolution or devolution i don't know which one but downwards it was not escalating it it went down <laughs> then i say has caused me to wonder if i'm mad or maybe i'm not cut out for that which speaks to just me reconciling who i thought you were with who you are and then feeling crazy about wanting to be with you and trying to find the you that i liked or the reason i liked you in you that you presented i don't know if that's making any sense but then i go back into the chorus unlock the door to your heart i'll be on the other side to catch your fall when it's dark you don't have to face the night alone but well yeah it is what it is thanks once again for tuning in to episode seven of the lyrical breakdown i think we're there oh is it seven it could be eight seven or eight one of them of the lyrical breakdown my name is Sio. peace